This head of sour cabbage will make over 20 cabbage rolls. It takes around 5 hours to make, but most of the time is spent with your cabbage rolls wrapped up all nice and cozy in the oven, slow cooking to perfection. They also freeze very well if you're not going to finish them all in a few days like I will. But welcome back to the channel guys. Today we are making a simple and delicious cabbage rolls recipe. I probably should have pat dried the cabbage a bit before starting this video, but either way, let's begin. So to prep our wraps, I'm going to begin by undressing the cabbage layer by layer and stack them neatly on top of each other one by one. This cabbage head I have here is around 4 pounds, and these medium to large ones usually make over 20 pieces. It's all going to vary, but 20 is usually a good number to aim for. So that's why this recipe I'm making has enough filling for about 20 pieces, so if you want to make more, just adjust it accordingly. So as you're peeling them, you might see these thick, large stems here that look like this. I'm just going to use my knife to remove them and make it easier to roll. And it also gives a more consistent texture when biting into them. Like the cabbage rolls are generally soft and tender all around. So in my opinion, it's just better to remove them. Now, once fully stripped, I ended up with about 25 pieces. I'm going to save those pieces though for the bottom of our pot and to separate the layers of the cabbage rolls when we stack them, which I'm going to show you later in the video. I was also left with this little piece from the center, which I usually just save for a little cabbage salad, but you may be able to squeeze out a few more cabbage rolls if you have extra mixture left over. Now to make our filling, I'm going to be using some grass-fed ghee as my fat. Beef tallow is also another great option I like here. Now into the pot, I'm going to add in four small and chopped organic onions, which you want to caramelize until golden brown that will give our cabbage rolls that sweet and savory flavor we're looking for. And along with our onion, I'll also add in four small peeled carrots, which I'll finely grate, followed by some salt and pepper. And after several minutes, once the moisture is gone, we're going to begin adding our meat. I'll be using one pound of lean ground beef and one pound of ground pork. Of course, if you can't eat one or the other, you can just use two pounds of a single meat but i really like the combination of both together i'm going to render all that fat down for a few minutes then we're going to start with our seasonings certain regions in europe make them a bit differently for instance polish cabbage rolls also known as golapki has a tomato based sauce which it cooks in in eastern europe they like to use seasoning like vegeta and may also have a paprika based root that they pour on top before putting in the oven but i'm going to keep mine nice and simple i'll begin by adding in two teaspoons of smoked paprika about a teaspoon of celery seed teaspoon of garlic powder and a teaspoon of onion powder. We're going to add in salt and pepper. I'm going to mix it all up and let that infuse for a few minutes. You can also give it a taste and add more seasoning to your liking. Now, I'll add in one cup of pre-washed rice. I'm using long grain rice, which will soak up all that flavor as it cooks nice and slow and come out with a nice fluffy texture. It's the best option for cabbage rolls in my opinion. I've tried this before with other types of rice such as basmati, but it doesn't yield the same result. We'll mix the rice in and we're going to take it off the heat. We don't want to cook the rice here. It's going to slow cook in the oven. We just want to make sure it's nice and spread out in the mixture. Now it's time for the second funnest part of this whole experience after eating of course and it's the wrapper mixture into little burrito like rolls to do this i'm going to begin by holding the leaf in my hand like this and it'll be a bit of trial and error for the first couple of rolls getting your ratios right but start with a couple of tablespoons and adjust from there we're going to start rolling from the bottom tuck in the sides and fold it over For a really tight squeeze, you can also poke in the sides like this here. Now, if you have giant cabbage leaves, you can always cut it in half to make two for one. And on the other end, if you have some leaves that have small holes in them or they're too small, you can layer and overlap them to make one roll. They don't have to look perfect. Every roll comes in different shapes and sizes. My rolling skills aren't that great and I have no doubt you can do better than I did here, but it's the inside that counts and I'm confident that they're all going to cook evenly and taste good. So I just had the perfect amount of filling for about 20 cabbage rolls. And now before arranging them in our pot, I'm going to line the pot with a couple of leftover leaves. This is done to prevent them from sticking and burning on the bottom of the pan, and it'll also keep them nice and moist throughout the cooking process. Now, after our first layer, I'm going to snuggle in some smoked cooked bacon in between them. This will further enhance the flavor of our cabbage rolls as they slow cook together. Using smoked ribs is also a great option, and for maximum flavor, you can use both. And once all of our rolls are in the pot and nicely snug, I'm going to cover them with one more blanket of leaf. Now, we're going to fill the pot up with filtered water until all the rolls are covered. This is an essential step for them to cook properly. Ideally, a deeper pot with a little more room will work better here, and it'll ensure it doesn't leak while it's cooking and make a giant mess in the oven. But just in case, placing a sheet of aluminum foil under your pot is a good idea. I'm going to set my oven to 400 degrees and then lower it to 300 once it starts to boil. And after about two hours, I took them out to add more water as it evaporates and gets absorbed. I only had to top it off one time, but this can vary depending on your pot and your oven settings. Just take a little peek at it every now and again. And finally, after about three and a half to four hours or until your fork easily slides into the rolls you know they're done i'm gonna peel that top off
We're going to take a little bite. And they are cooked perfectly. The rice is fluffy and it's absorbed all that flavor from the meat and seasoning. The meat is nice and tender. The bacon is soft and that smoky flavor is infused throughout the cabbage rolls. I really doubt any of this will make it to the freezer. I mean, it's not all for me, I'm sharing, of course. But if they do, just thaw them out and reheat them in the oven when you're craving and they preserve their taste really, really well. So there you have it, guys. A quick, simple recipe for cabbage rolls. They're full of flavor. One head of sour cabbage, 30 minutes of prep time, and the rest is spent in the oven. The result is enough cabbage rolls to feed the whole family. Or or just you. As always guys, thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the video and I'll see you again very soon.